In this tutorial, we're going to alter this half elf head into a tiefling head ready to create as a new asset. So we will be using a combination of 2.79 and 2.92. 2.79 because that has less issues when exporting the Collada file. So first we'll start in 2.92 import our Clada file. So you can use my reference guide to know which head is which. This is using one where I edited so each head has the name in the game just to make it easy for myself. But I do have my reference guide for anyone else to use. So for this I need the halfling male head E. So I go to my unpacked data models generated public shared assets characters anims half elves male resources okay so i haven't actually converted any of them to dae yet however we have the models multi-tool male naked head f was that for that yep. Oh, e. Okay, it's now been converted. So if we refresh, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, models generated, public shared assets, characters, animals, half elves, male resources. Half elf male head E. So the new update to the modders multi tool is extremely handy, especially if you don't want to go through convert them all at once. So we import that. The ears are on the floor. You just press G for grab, and it automatically puts it up here. So first, we want to do is actually delete them because we want to turn them into a teeth link. So we first hide all, right click over here and new collection. I'll just do this because it's easier to delete that section later. Import Collada. So now we need a tiefling male head. So let's have a look at Zevlor's ears. Maybe we use his. Okay, we'll see what they look like. Delete the rest of that. I mean, I presume they look older because Zevlor is technically older. Let's just delete them for now. So let's go on back to index search and actually just have a look at head E. So mouse wheel to zoom, left click to drag. Okay, let's have a look at head Oh, that's the base. Um, okay, it might take a while Oop. to show. Okay, so actually, I think I'm going to go with it. A is. Go back to hiding that, import, A. Grab a G to make it automatically up here. Hide, delete all, Alt H to unhide. Yeah, those ears suit him a little bit better. Okay, so let's select the ears and then shift right click if you're using the Blender 2.7 setup. So I do apologize if you're not, it should be then left click, I think. I'm too used to 2.7, so I've reverted to that. Control P, object. Now when we move that up here, it should fall under the armature, which it did. Okay, so first I'm actually gonna set up the naming conventions just while we're here. So I worked out that if you add it like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then export with the object name order. So keep the order. 
it helps keeping the material order. So an example one is this character I made. And that's with also trying to move the seam as much as we can with Blender. You can get a better process if you use 3ds Max, but I don't personally use that. And my student license ended quite some time ago, so I can't use it anymore. So let's start naming. So the first one should be the head. So A. And then it is the mouth interior. So we put B at the front there. Then eyes, so it's, oops, C. Then ears, don't matter about the rest of the name, but D. Then tear line, E. Eyelashes, I know they're already in order technically there, but just to be on the safe side. So now we've got them in order, we now need to add weights to the ears and then fix the seam so it matches the seam of the head. So first go into tab mode, select all with A, and then go into the object data properties, add a new group, head underscore M. With all the vertices selected, press assign. Okay, now we're gonna fix the seam. So select first the head and then the ears. Go into edit mode, Change this snap to to vertex and then turn on what looks like a magnet, which is snap. Okay, so when we press this while having that there, it'll snap to that verti vertice, I don't know. vertex, vertex. <laughs> okay, so. definitely helps having a basic knowledge of the program already like I said if you don't change the to 2.7 then it will be slightly different to this okay nope let's have a look there we are okay oops okay it's easy to go inside the ear, go inside the ear. So that one should go to there, and then that one to there. Yep. And then that one, oops, to there. And that one to there. Sometimes, like I said, it is easier doing it from the inside because you can see ooh, the mesh. Other bits you will want to join a bit easier. Okay. Also, if you want to, you can go out of edit mode, hide the armature or the skeleton, whichever you prefer to call it. Okay, that is now all aligned on that ear so we repeat the process on the other ear and the snapping guide completely thanks to Alana for that because I was actually doing control m for merge I don't think it is control m anymore in this no it isn't so in 2.79 I was using control m to snap to the vertices and join them and I was actually getting loads of errors this way so this way seems to be definitely the most advised way of doing it. So that's why I suggest a combination now of 2.79 and 2.9. Okay, let's go back on the inside here. Okay, so that one goes to that one. Let's turn that on, okay. So if you do see through, it does make it sometimes a little bit harder, but in these cases, I would actually say it makes it a tad easier if you can't see it through, just looking through this. Although this bit should actually be easy to do now without a see through. Oh, 
Okay, we now have the. Oop. Must have gone wrong somewhere. Because it has actually the exact same vertices. Okay. Okay, let's just put them. Aha. Uh -huh. Just saw the gap and now I can't see the gap. Where was it? Oh, the back of the year. Sorry for all this spinning about there. So. Let's just grab that, that one. that one okay so we want to put that one to that one it might have been where I've gone wrong so as you can see it can happen don't matter just press ctrl z and if you want set up oh, it went down there set up that the ctrl z actually gives you a bit more of a memory if your compute can handle it because then you've got more room to for error basically to improve on it okay so right now I would say that I need to just uh, just um, modify that a little bit so let's select the ears then shift alt shift alt control Shift, control, right for me, and then just scale it in a little. Okay, yeah, now that looks perfect. Oh, maybe a little, oh, should I turn, snap off and yeah, I do tend to say that a little bit. Okay. Now we need the tiefling body. So we can snap the vertices of the neck to the tiefling body so we can sort out the seams better and so there's no gaps because there's a slight gap between tiefling and humans elves and half elves okay so import collada again this time we want to go to models tieflings resources okay so we want to go back to here and type in body Okay, refresh. Did I not click on it properly? Uh, there's the right one, I think. Refresh. <sighs> Models, tieflings, male resources. Yes. Models, tieflings, res male resources, that's where I went wrong. <laughs> As you can see, we can already see gaps here. So we want to shift click to select them, making sure the last one we selected was ahead. Don't know if this actually does make much of a difference, but we'll see. So the head, so just make sure it is the head. So we'll go like that. This is so you don't accidentally move the body mesh because you're still going to get a gap because what we're using is only the head. Okay. Yeah. So in this case, open that again so we can select the vertices, vertex, vertex behind. And again with this one. And oops, again with this one. And 
And yet this one. So I'll press the decimal point on the keyboard to snap to the current vertices. So it's easier because then you don't have to constantly just move the camera. Okay, I think we've done. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we've done this part. And this next part is thanks to Virelis, I think that's how it's pronounced. So yeah, the gap on the back, don't ignore that because we don't use that. So now I advise adding these two materials because when we want to separate them again, then it's a bit easier. So let's do this as head, tab mode, select all, assign, select all, assign. Make sure it's all of them, then assign. Now select all the the head, the ears and the body and join the meshes. Now tab mode in 2.79 it would be merge, uh, remove doubles. In this it is merge by distance. Now if you want to add this to your quick favorites, It'll be here, mine's already in it. So when I press Q, I can just press that and it'll do it. So as you can see, now the seam is technically the fixed. So now we press Shift D. Actually, first turn snapping off. Shift D, left click. Okay, just make sure it don't move the mouse, otherwise it does that weird pattern in between. Now this duplicate, we want to add the 180 degrees on that auto smooth hide now on ours we want to do the same but i've got a script just to make this bit a little bit easier and quicker so we go into text editor and text open the text that i'll be linking to in the description it is on the larian discord already so i'll be linking to that so you can download it and now we press while this is selected and while our mouse is hovering over this window, Alt plus P. Now that's automatically add the auto smooth 180 degrees. But if you want to do it differently, just run it by this text and run script. And now if we go to modifiers, our data transfer is already there. And if you've lost the armature modifier, don't worry. We'll be adding that again because our weights are all still there. So now what we have to do is choose our second mesh. And yeah, that's done. And now we just got to separate them again. So select body, P for separate by selection. Okay, then select the head. Right, we're gonna actually separate the ears and just rename the mesh. So this is a head dot map about the rest of it, like I said before, and then D is, can rename them all if you want. This body we do not now need delete. Now I'm gonna say Alt, you can apply this in here or in 2.79. So let's, actually let's not delete just hide as long as we've got selection on export that's the main thing so alt h so we get our armature back so unhide all and if we okay select so we've got selected don't want that selected so just turn them off Control C, go into 2.79. Oops, copied them all. Okay, so all we have to do there is delete this extra armature. Hide that. 
So as you can see in here, you can see that the seams are still gone. So now we just have to make sure to add the armature modifier. On data transfer apply, data transfer apply, add armature modifier. And make sure all the weights are still there. So when you press chest, yeah, selects that. So now we have our edited mesh, except we need to extend the forehead a little for it to work as a tiefling. So now I'm going to go into sculpt mode with the head selected and inflate. The main part is the very front part of the head. You might have to also do a little bit up here, but it's mainly this bit. So you will probably be going back and forth in the editor a little. Let's just see if that actually worked. So select all. Make sure that the ones that are hidden, stay hidden. And now in export, you can download the exports presets from the Larian Discord as well. I'll be linking to that in the description as well. And click selection only. So it only does the selected meshes. So I'll name it head free. Export. And now in Elslib, click on the head I want to import. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good that I did that. So on the ears it's going to have all the UVs so make sure to delete the extra UVs. So for the head get rid of the ears and the body and for the ears make sure that just the ears ones remain and actually if you get any UV text colors I don't think it does anything but just to be on the safe side remove it. Select all again. Export make sure it's selected. Double click. Press import. Yep, now it works. Rigid just to be on the safe side. Turn X flip meshes off. And now we're going to export it into Okay, I'm gonna use head C for this just for testing. Export. Load the game. Change the head C and yes. It's our head and as you can see, there's barely any visible seam on the ears or on the neck. The Warlock out the Wizard outfit is the best one to test this on unless you use a mod that removes the outfit. Okay, so if we turn the head a bit so we can see I would actually need to sculpt that a little bit more. So let's go back into 2.79, select the head, sculpt mode. Add a bit more to the forehead. Back into object mode. Export. Heads. Go through this again. Import. Make sure it's turn off cloth. Turn on rigid and make sure that's still unselected. Go back in game. Okay, it's getting there. Just the front, or is it the sides as well? It's the sides a little bit as well. Okay. That should technically do it. Next part. Three. In part. Turn rigid on. It cloth off, X flip stays off. Okay. Okay, now it's gone through the horns technically a little bit, but now it looks like it's actually coming out of the skin. So that's now that halfling male elf E head. Elf, half elf <laughs> converted to tiefling and barely any seam. Thank you to Virilis and Alana for working out some of the extra parts and with the addition of keeping object name keep sort by object name 
which is what I worked out for the A, B, C, D, E, F, G thing, which I mentioned. That just makes it easier to sort out the materials because now, thankfully, all the heads have the same material order. Well, it's not showing on there properly. Oh, it's because I've actually not updated. Okay, so if you want to make sure it updates the name here as well, just change that to head so it doesn't confuse you in the eslib. Because now if we export and import that, it should now say head. Yeah, head, mouth, eyes, ears, tear line, eyelashes, eye shadow. Okay, that concludes making the meshes or editing the meshes. So, or converting one race to another. With the, obviously the halflings, dwarves and stuff, it would be positioning it better as well. So that is it for this tutorial. And if you want to add it as a new asset, I have a PDF in my tutorials page on the Nexus and Bulls Gate 3. Thank you for watching and have fun modding.